Subtitle Edit 4.0.6 is official. Well, it's been out for about six days. It was released on 1st June 2024. Now, these are the changes and more or less two major changes are available. We have a text -to speech functionality built right into Subtitle Edit. And this is really awesome, especially for people who want to dub videos uh, and so on and so forth. Really depends on what you want to do. There are free and paid options available. Uh, for you to work with and it's really really good and I hope that everybody that is watching this video is going to try them out. Next up we have the batch mode for burning in subtitles and this is highly welcome especially when you have a ton of videos uh, let's say you have one video but need to produce with banding subtitles for different languages or even different videos with their corresponding subtitles and you want to burn uh, all those subtitles at one go that is you just uh, put in your videos and then you leave and once you're back everything is banned in to uh, the video now uh, so and also we have some few fixes for auto translate you can see the change log from here uh, right about here and this is what it looks like add text to speech ban in batch mode new LRC with millisecond format new subtitle format whisper output and then you have added a CPS function option to modify selection. And then the updates right here. Uh, we also have a ton of things. Allow re-encode with burning without subtitle. So you can re-encode a video without burning in the subtitle, which is also very welcome. And also uh, the new Llama 3 model uh, is the default for all Llama Translate. And then uh, uh, ChatGPT, we all know they came out with GPT-4, 4 all. So that's something else. FFmpeg was also updated. Uh, yeah, it's really awesome. And also enable language filter in whisper mode. Uh, if you'd like to download it, obviously you go to this website, GitHub. I'll leave the links below the release here. And then you navigate to this uh, subtitle edit 4.0.6. And you choose whatever works for you. Uh, I'll just go with the zip or this. But because I already have it installed, I'll just open it up. And it's here about subtitle edit 4.0.6. Now, uh, let's get a video. Let's see if we get this video. Uh, is uh, that particular video. Uh, and then let's see the first added option, video, uh, text to speech and add to video. So it's two things in one. It's text to speech or subtitle to speech and then you add to video. If I click on it, you can be able to set up uh, different parameters or options here or different engines. So there are a ton of engines. We've got Piper. It is fast and good. Uh, we also have Alltalk TTS, Kokui based. And then we have Kokui AI TTS, only one voice. We also have Microsoft Speech Synthesizer. This is very fast, stroke robotic. We also have 11 Labs TTS. It's online. You have to pay. It's good. And this is more or less, if I click on it, you need to put in your API key here and there are a ton of languages here and you can see the count of voices that are available uh, right inside here. Sorry, not languages, voices and uh, male, female and so on and so forth. Uh, then we have Microsoft Azure TTS. It's online. You have to pay. It's good. You have to put in the API key, uh, different voices, for example, for 87. And then we have a region for the languages or the, the voices. Uh, how you want them to sound, which is really, really awesome uh, right inside here. Uh, and then we've got Tortoise TTS. It is slow and it's good. Uh, and uh, I've seen videos on how you can use Tortoise TTS to kind of clone your voice. Uh, I've not really dabbed into that, but it's really awesome to also see that it has about 21 voices at the time of recording this video. Now, the simplest is Piper, more or less. If I click on test voice, it's going to prompt for download Piper text to speech. As for the others, I don't think they prompt you. I wish they did. You have to kind of install manually and so on and so forth. Now I'll click yes. It's a small file, this one. It's going to download Piper and then download this particular voice for Alan. But I want to test how it sounds. So it's also going to download Piper text-to-speech voice Ian uh, Alan. It's going to download quickly. 
Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Now, that sounds a little bit robotic, but the thing I like about this is that it's got a ton of languages and probably maybe one of the languages uh, that I'm into is Swahili. And let's hear. So once you click on uh, like the voice or whatever, it starts a download. This might end up being a little bit bigger. Uh, let's actually just cancel that. Uh, it failed. But let's go back to Ian. Uh, this may be what Alan. Let's go back to Alan. Should be English. Alan. Low. Oh, I went for the low, uh, low quality. So I kind of need to go maybe with medium. Let's let's see if this one is a little bit faster in downloading. Yeah, that's a little bit faster. Let's listen uh, to what we get from this. Hello, how are you? Mm, still not that good, but ah. Uh, you see what I, I'm going into. So for you to use it, uh, you kind of need to get uh, some subtitles going here. And I can actually import. And then go to video. Text to speech. And then uh, you need to select this if you want to review uh, the audio clips. And then once you're done, or add audio to video. Uh, it creates a new file. Let's click on generate speech from text. It's more or less going to dub what I'm going to say and kind of match it to my my voice or whatever I was saying. So if I actually play. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Descript's eye contact feature to simulate eye contact with the camera even when you're reading from a script. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. So uh, for some strange reason, it's making my uh, more or less everything seems like it's a part, but you'll see like I'll show it's being joined uh, or something. Uh, I'm not sure why, but you can always click on regenerate, select the voice you want and so on and so forth. Uh, but that is something that is good uh, right inside here. Let's generate again and listen. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use this script. Well, let's see. Okay. It's going to generate our video here. And if I play this. In this tutorial. I'll show you how to use this script's eye contact feature to simulate eye contact with the camera even when you're reading from a script. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. So, well, it kind of dubbed everything onto me. So it's really awesome to have that. Now, that's text to speech. Okay. Uh, let's go to the next feature, which is really, really awesome. Batch band in mode uh, in subtitle edit, and you'll need to go to generate video with band in subtitle. Uh, it's going to pull up this one, uh, but you'll see the option for batch mode. And batch mode is available. Uh, this particular icon is available when you have a video with subtitles. But what happens when you don't have a video right inside here? You just need to go to video, generate video with band in subtitle, and you'll see this particular interface uh, is, is different from the batch mode button that was here. So I'll click on add and select these two videos. And because they have corresponding subtitle files, if I actually click on this all files, you'll see that we have clip3, clip3SRT, and this PXL and the subtitle, because they already have those files that have the same names, uh, they're going to actually just be imported automatically. And I'll click on open and you'll see the video and the subtitle, the video and the subtitle. One thing you need to do is ensure that this resolution right here is set to source and you can select use source resolution so that if this video is 1080 by 1920, then that is what you get in the long run. And if this is 1920 by 1080, that is what you get once that is done. And then you can uh, actually set the output folder as the source, and then you can add a suffix so that you know, for example, band in, and then you can click on okay. And something else, if uh, your video does not have the same name as a subtitle, you can actually right click on this and pick a subtitle manually or you probably want to burn in a different subtitle and so on and so forth 
you can also remove the subtitle uh, and do everything that you like and once you're done just click on generate and this is going to do its magic in the background and uh, once everything is done you're going to have uh, this converted option here uh, showing you that the subtitles have been uh, banned in to your video the way you want it to be uh, it's really really awesome to finally have this and you can see how long it took so if you had a ton of videos that you want to batch ban subtitles to you can just do it leave it go do other things and once you come back everything is done so you can click on ok and let's see the output folder Mm, let's see yeah, that's the output folder here but this is a source let me check for the source yeah this one with band in this tutorial i'll show you how to use descripts eye contact you can see feature to simulate eye contact with the car it's been banned into the video if you're working with ass subtitles uh you have the option for whatever styles you've included uh to go on for you and this is the band one in this video I'll show you how to add captions to your social media videos, TikToks, Reels. Yeah, so that's the batch ban mode. Uh, I kind of feel that you need to test it out to see how it works, if it works best for you. And uh, you can also configure now adding some bold uh, inside here and the outline for your subtitles the way you want it to be. That's really awesome. I hope this video is of value to you. Uh, and that's what's new in subtitle edit. 4.0.6 uh, go try it out uh, and until next time stay safe and never stop learning thanks for watching